Neighbors say a rape at an Independence Park could have been prevented. Now, Shannon Halligan looks into what they say is the biggest problem there. Shannon. McCoy Park here and Brady Park just across the street are very popular with kids, as you can see. And neighbors say the attack this weekend is only part of the problem. Ryan Raines faced a judge today where he was formally charged with first degree rape and first degree sodomy. Raines had gashes on his head from two fast food workers who jumped in and stopped the attack Saturday evening. It happened in Brady Park behind Don Hynote's home. He said there are several problems with the homeless population near the wooded area. Court records say Raines told police he was a homeless drunk. But until we get rid of all these homeless people that have no respect for our neighborhood, for all the people. High note said people constantly loiter on his property and steal from his home. Just last year, Independence Police touted their core process with lowering crimes associated with homeless camps. The process tracks trends like theft and trespassing. Police used McCoy Park, across the street from the rape, as an example where crimes decreased 20 to 30 percent. This assault, police say, is just one isolated incident. If it looks like there's any patterns developing in a particular area, then uh, CORE will uh, identify those and then we can start stepping up patrols and working more actively with the community. And Reigns has an extensive arrest record. He's pleaded guilty to crimes like theft, burglary, and drug possession. And on 41 Action News at 6, hear what police now recommend to residents in the area. Live in Independence, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.